From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Well, good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Monday. Queen Elizabeth's coffin lying in rest in Edinburgh after making a six-hour journey to the Scottish capital. Thousands lining the more than 100-mile route as her body was moved from her beloved Balmoral Castle on Sunday. King Charles III and the Queen Consort will arrive at the Palace of Holyrood House in Scotland today. There will be a procession to St. Giles Cathedral where the coffin will rest. People can pay their last respects. Local tens of Cole Perez in London for all the events leading up to the Queen's funeral. Stay with us on air and online all week long. Last night, police at the scene of two shootings happening within minutes of each other. It started when Lauder Hill police got a call about a gunshot victim who drove himself to Florida Medical Center. Police said the victim was shot along the 2100 block of Northwest 56th Avenue. It is not clear who shot him. Shortly after, police got a call about a shooting off the 5700 block of Northwest 27th Court at a kid's birthday party. No shooting victims were found at that scene. Dolphins went in big yesterday. A few fans suffered a fiery loss off the field after several cars went up in flames in the middle of the game. The fire started about 1 o'clock in the stadium's parking lot. Our crews counted as many as 11 cars charred by those flames. Luckily, no one was hurt. The cause of that fire is under investigation. And firefighters battling flames at a house in northwest Miami-Dade yesterday. You're looking at the scene along northwest 48th Court. Crews say they put the fire out, but they did have to take one person to the hospital for treatment. No word yet on the cause of that fire. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered throughout the day on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.